Hi, Lions. My name is Moses. I'm a co-founder at Travilla. At Travilla, we are building a peer-to-peer -peer logistics platform that will allow individual travelers to be able to move packages on behalf of other people. The entire logistics industry currently sits on a 5.5 trillion market size in revenue, while Nigeria itself alone sits on 1 billion, 150 billion in Nigeria Nera as a total market size revenue. Now, moving total package of 700 million packages only in Nigeria, in which we personally are targeting moving 50 million packages with our platform. We take 20% commission on every packages moved via our platform where we connect a traveler with a package. I'm here to ask for 20 million for 15% share equity for traveler. Just as we have seen what Airbnb has done decentralizing the market in travel and um, lodging industry, we are about to see what traveler will do decentralizing the market in the logistics industry. Thank you. How old are you? I am 23. 23? Yes. Okay. You look like you were 16. <laughs> eh? When did you start and how many customers do you so have? So we rolled out in January 2021 okay. this year to validate our market. And then in a couple of two months, we had over 100 users. So, they would... so in the three months with 100 users, how much income have you made? So we've made 500 US dollars. In Naira, that's 200,000 Naira. Okay, so have you fully developed this app? We are currently running using our web application, online application. So we run our entire service currently using our website. But we are transitioning to our mobile application by the end of this month. So wh why are you in a hurry? Why are you impatient? You've worked on your web platform where you made about 100,000 Naira. You're working on your app, which is now quite might have kinks here and there. I'm wondering why you're short circuit in your process, because if the app was ready, you would have a better, much more robust presentation so that we can know where the pieces are. So, why are you impatient? OK, I think there, in this, was there was that our, mobile, our web platform was performing exactly what our mobile application would do, but manually. On our mobile application, everything is completely automated. So if we can carry out the entire process manually, successfully, then we will be able to significantly do it seamlessly. Are you concentrating on the domestic market or is this global? This is global. You know, what if the person giving the package is a drug dealer? So one of the things that we are establishing is that if you're flying and then you're taking a package to fly, we have at every airport our support staff, which is expected to screen packages before you take them as an individual traveler. So you would have place a staff at every international airport in the world? Yes, sir. Interesting. What is the breakdown of your 100 users? Are they all Nigerians? Yes, they are all Nigerians. Why is it only Nigerians when your target is the whole world? We actually intended to validate our markets here in Nigeria first. So you have to validate and establish a traction here? Yes. Before you go out? Yes, sir. Interesting. So, so Moses, um, let me just try to understand this business. Um, who does the last mile? So if, someone, if I'm flying from London to Lagos, and I say, okay, let me invest in my journey, pick up a package, you pay me whatever, 100,000 Naira for bringing the package. I get to Lagos Airport, what do I do? I give it to your, your agent at the airport, right? Okay, it's on two points. The receiver can be waiting for you, standing, waiting for you to come down and give him his package. But if there's a disruption in that journey like that, you can uh, request our support staff to come pick up the package for you. Okay support staff at the outgoing airport. Yes, you also sir. need support staff at the incoming airport. Same thing, sir. So there are a lot of people involved in this business. Because the thing is, since it's the same airport, now people move out from an airport and they come in from, a, from in, say, an, another airport. No, I, I understand. I'm just, I just want to see how automated the business was. Best businesses are businesses that don't involve people, right? Um, from um, 
from end to end. Yeah. So you, you've talked about Uber, Booking.com. There's nobody anywhere. You don't have the booking guys at the, at the hotels waiting for you or the Uber support staff at either end of the car. Tell me about verification. So the verification. Now we've incorporated a three-way tracking for monitoring packages and we're using BVN API verifications from Paystock integrated into the platform. The also, BVN is whose? Who's? Yes, the, the BVN API is from, Pay, is from Paystock. Why don't you go directly Direct to the to, owners? Yeah. You either go to NIPS or NI, NIMC, uh, and NIMC has released the APIs because the payments gateways can be cutthroat. They would charge you an arm and a leg. If you're not careful, you would be dropping money on the table and you'd be working for others. You get the picture? Yes, sir, I get the picture. I get the picture, sir. Moses, honestly, I like you. You're an intelligent guy. I think you've got a great idea, by the way. You're young, you're fiery, you're, you're full of energy. There's a business here somewhere later on, but it's nowhere near that. Right now, it's purely an idea. A good idea, but it's an idea. This thing needed to be thought through a little bit more. For that reason, unfortunately, I wish you the best of luck, obviously, uh, but unfortunately, I'm out. Like some of my colleagues, Paul had mentioned, you're a little bit too early because there are other variables that might impact on what you're talking about. For example, I wrote down here safety, insurance. Are you partnering with any insurance company in case something goes wrong within this circle? Have you thought about that? I'm working on it, sir. You're working on it. So you see, most of the things are work in progress. Um, fortunately, I'm out. It's very personal. Just tell me a bit about your family. My background? Yes. So I come from middle class family, if I can say that. My father is not completely educated. My mother, same thing. She's not so educated. So we are, we are five currently in the family. So I am the first son. And then I could have gone to work instead of going to the university, but I chose to go to the university and then walked my way so that I can be able to afford to pay myself and be able to pay for this school. So I volunteered for a couple of companies and then even got to work with a company in Poland. So basically I used all of those income to learn about entrepreneurship, product development, so that I can build a product that many other people can use and then can be of value. I'm going to make you an offer, but there's at least one lion here that I'd like to get involved as well. We'll give you 20 million Naira that you want, 10 million Naira in equity, yeah? 10 million Naira as a convertible, right? Which will convert at your next round. Um, we give you that money, but for 26%, and you get at least two, you know, of us, and there might even be a third lion who might want to come along. Moses, I am in for the same 26% and at all the terms specified by Apology. Do you understand? I want you to understand because I'm going to go in with them, but I want you to understand. Yeah. I'm standing by. I'm also going to make you an offer. I'm going to make you an offer for one third of the 26%, so I'm in. We've come to a conclusion that, okay, we we'll go with 26% share equity, as Elia said, but the discount on the convertible note will be 10%. So I'll explain to you why that doesn't work, yeah? If we converted it all today, yeah, we'd probably end up with half your company. By waiting till that next round, we're actually really being supportive of you. So I would say to you, that's the deal. And what you get in terms of these people standing by your side is worth way more, you know, than this money or this check that we're writing. If you're investing in me and my company, you've taken a long walk to believe in us. So I think I appreciate the offer. 
and I will take it. It's a pleasure to have you on board. Well done. Yeah.